Hey everyone, my name is Ashley Harmon and my project is Recycle and Reuse. It's a well-known fact that recycling and reusing items is a necessary part for our future on this planet, but it also has benefits for the consumer financially, so it's good for you and it's good for the planet. When we hear the word recycle, we typically think of containers. My focus today is on reusable items such as clothing, furniture, accessories, etc. There are several organizations and applications in place for this purpose already, and many of you probably have experience using them. So if we have all these options, what's the problem? The problem with secondhand stores is that for donators, they might not accept all of your items for various reasons. If you're buying items from secondhand stores, you don't always know that they'll have what you need, um, or it might not be in your size or something like that. And it can be kind of hard to find items in these stores. And for sellers, there could be little to no profit for going through this method to give your items to a secondhand store. For secondhand apps, donators typically must sell. You can't just donate. Buyers, you might not know if they'll have what you need or when they'll have it. You kind of like keep checking on things or talking to people. And sellers must manage interest in their items and maintain um, like profiles and all kinds of information. And all people involved in this process have to communicate and often meet up with complete strangers and determine transportation of the item, which could be a huge hassle. Then there's a the question of what if they don't sell? Because stores may trash the item and the application users are also likely to trash an item. The problem with this is that they might dispose of an item where materials could have been reused or dispose of an item incorrectly. There is a current solution to correct disposal and reuse of items, and it's a company called Junk Luggers, but you do have to pay them to come take the items, and typically a trip could cost a base amount of $150 or more. So how do we make this cheap and easy for both those looking to sell or donate and those looking to buy secondhand? My solution is a web application called Recycle and Reuse. And like many other applications, there is an online store to allow buyers to find and purchase items. You should be able to schedule to pick them up at a local warehouse or you could have them delivered. And you could also submit a request form to be alerted of new arrivals meeting a certain criteria. So if you don't find what you're looking for, you don't have to keep waiting or trying to stay updated. It can do the work for you to match you with items that you want. And for those wishing to sell, it might not be as much of a profit as you were hoping for, but with all the work that goes into setting up online profiles and item information, talking to potential buyers, or going in person to sell to a secondhand store, it might be worth it. And then there's also just no more communicating with or dealing with people on the internet um, that you don't know. And then you also don't have to manage any content to sell things. And there's no worrying about what happens to the items if they don't sell, or how to dispose of them or reuse parts. With all of these, um, I am a team of one, so not all features are implemented yet. My focus this semester was on the main shopping and purchasing functionality for buyers. Um, so without further ado, let's go check out the application. So this is the homepage of Recycle and Reuse, and you can see that it will also know what tab we're on up here, um, which is pretty cool. So if we're on the home page, we can see the latest products that have been added. Um, so we've got a kitchen table, green couch, etc. And then up top, we'll also see different categories that we could search by. So we can see furniture, clothing, accessories, and miscellaneous. And if I want to search for an item by name, I could say a chair. And then I see a chair that comes up. Um, I could try tennis. And we've got a tennis racket so then we can also view the item details we'll get an enlarged photo and then the condition materials and sizing and then we've got the price and we can add the cart we can also change the amount of adding to the cart and I'm gonna go ahead and log in so we see this says log in right now um, if I log in I've got a user already created Okay, so I am now logged in, 
and I don't have any items in my cart, but if I want to see items I've previously ordered, now we can see that this button has changed to my account. It no longer says login. So I can click my account and I can see I've purchased four different orders before. Um, and then I can go find what I want. So I'm going to go get some socks. I'll go ahead and get two pairs of these, add it to my cart. And then if I go to my cart, I can see the socks and then the total. Um, if I want to change this, I could get some more socks and it's going to tell me my new total or less socks. Um, and if I go below one, it's just going to remove it from my cart. So I'm going to go add that again. I could also remove it with this X here, but I'm going to go ahead and check out. So I can just enter basic shipping information of a random person and use a sample card number. And then I'm going to try to pay with Stripe. And that is actually hooked up to Stripe in the development mode. So it went through with a sample um, card number. And it says, thank you, please allow up to 48 hours to process your order. So now I know my order went through. So I can go back to my account and I can see my socks. And if I wanna log out now that I'm done, I can just click log out and now we see log in again. So something that would be added for future versions as it was shown in the slides was uh, scheduling to pick up an item if you wanna pick it up locally. Um, submitting a form for a request for an item. So if I didn't see what I wanted here or like say I was looking at clothing and they just had wool sweaters, but I wanted t-shirts. So I can submit a request and say, um, you know, anything that fits this criteria for a t-shirt to let me know if that has been um, updated to the site and it can send you a notification and you would be able to pick if you want to purchase the item or not. Um, and it would basically do the work for you of searching for things. So say they had a lot of inventory on here and you just didn't want to go through all of it. Um, it would do the matching for you. So that and being able to schedule them coming to pick up an item from you if you want to donate or sell it. And um, they would do all the work to put everything on their website. So, and yeah, this pretty much um, recycle and reuse.